What's up with it, y'all? It's your girl Nishi, and I'm back with another motherfucking vlog, baby. Yeah, first of all, if you're watching this video, stop what you're doing right now. Take seven seconds to click on that subscribe button. You ready? Set? Go. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, one. Yeah, y'all. Hopefully, you clicked on that subscribe button. Make sure you like this video and share it. If you're not already following me on Instagram, make sure you head over to IG right now and type in your search bar. N-I-E-S-H-H -H dot S-I-M-P-S-O-N. That's at niche dot Simpson, y'all. Okay? Make sure y'all follow me on TikTok as well. I'm going to put everything right here. And it's also going to be down here in the caption. Yeah, so make sure you follow me. Follow my business page as well. Period. Okay, y'all. So it's been a minute since I vlogged. First of all, let me tell y'all, vlogging takes time, okay? Time. Bruh. Like, real life time. Especially the editing process. So I just haven't really had the time to vlog anything, really. But it's my first vlog for 2022. I'm super, super excited to get back into vlogging. I'm going to try my best to be as consistent as possible or at least vlog more often more than i have been yeah so for my first vlog of the year i wanted to do a q and a i posted a questions box on instagram and people put questions that they wanted me to answer i got like 30 questions but i narrowed it down i was going to narrow it down to 10 but i have nine so what i did is i wrote it on pieces of paper and i put it in this little ziploc bag i'm going to shake it up and I'm gonna choose questions randomly. So here we go. Okay. First question is, can we get some tutorials? Yes, absolutely. I have some tutorials that I shot recently that are loading, but I'm actually in the process of something special. I don't wanna really say what it is. However, Tutorials will be coming soon. Okay, y'all? Bear with me, please. In the meantime, if you're in NYC, pull up to a class. If not, I'll probably be visiting your city soon. I'll be teaching in New Jersey on April 9th. And on April 23rd, I will be in ATL. So, if you're in any of those states, pull up on your girl. Next question. <laughs> I'm just moving the papers around and shit. Okay. Next question. How has homeschooling been? That's a good question. Homeschooling has been, it's been good. Um, as they get older, it gets a little more challenging because like I have to remind myself, I have to reteach myself the stuff that I was learning to teach to them. And that obviously takes time and dedication um, and consistency. So uh, it's definitely been... You know, we have our good days and we have our off days. I'm not going to say bad days. We have our good days and then we have our off days. But for the most part, homeschooling has been pretty good. Next question. Oh, I'm not even supposed to be looking. Look at me. Bruh. Next question. How old are you? I'm 29, 25, baby. Here. But I will be 30 on May 16th. Sidebar, my birthday. You see that flyer? Yeah. My birthday party is coming up. It's on May 13th. Make sure y'all cop y'all tickets. The early bird tickets are sold out, okay? Make sure y'all pull up and pop out. If you ever been to She Saturday, y'all already know what the turn up is after. So imagine that at a party, okay? And fellas, y'all don't have to just watch this from my story okay y'all can actually pull up to this one so make sure y'all cop y'all tickets i'm gonna put the link for this down below as well next question okay what will the next question be let us see okay curtis baldwin 56 because he didn't put one of these next to um next to his question asked where are you from I am from Brooklyn, New York, baby. I'm a Brooklyn born, Brooklyn raised, Brooklyn bred girl. You feel me? 
most people could tell like when i go out of state and stuff people can usually tell that i'm from new york but it's mad funny when people specify that i sound like i'm from brooklyn i don't even know what brooklyn girls sound like but i'm from brooklyn i'm from brooklyn next question next question i'm not supposed to be looking why the fuck do i keep looking bitch i don't know i'm just gonna look at myself as i pick my question mm -hmm. here we go Oh, okay. So this question came from my close friend. I wasn't sure if I should disclose who this person was because again, it's a person from close friends. So I'm not gonna say who asked me this question, but hey sis, <laughs> she asked, what are your spiritual beliefs and practices? So I said on Instagram that this was an interesting question for me because I don't really talk about my spirituality like that um, or my beliefs or my practices publicly um my close people who are close to me know so pretty much people would refer to me as a hebrew israelite except i'm not out in the street like you know blacking on everybody um but i do observe the sabbath uh not as much not like i should um but i study the torah and um i'm not i don't go to church or anything like that i fellowship within myself with my children um when i'm communicating with people about my spiritual beliefs and practices and all that stuff and we're exchanging information and knowledge that's how i fellowship i don't refer to the creator as god because i believe well not i believe it's a fact that god is a title and not a name um and i do not call the son by the name jesus because Again, like I said, people will refer to me as a Hebrew Israelite. I am a Hebrew. Um, that's what I identify as. And um, J, the letter J does not exist in the Hebrew tongue. So I don't refer to the son um, as Jesus. And nor do I refer to the creator as God or Lord. or Because again, those are titles and not names. So yeah. Next question. I don't want to get too deep on that because then that'll take up most of this video, but that's like a summary. Yeah? Okay. Next question. <clears throat> Mina J. Hey, sis. Mina J asked, where do you see Sheesh Niche five years from now? Bitch, international. Five years from now, Sheesh Niche needs to be well established. You feel me? Like, there needs to be a studio at that time um like my own shit my website should be like flourishing for real because i feel like right now my website is it is what it is like but it could be way better as far as like branding and all that stuff um i want my family my sheesh niche family to grow and expand you know sidebar i need to come up with a name for my sheesh niche family because yeah like i want to be able to call you guys something um but I see Sheesh Niche as being a successful, well-established, international, financially stable brand. You feel me? That's what it's giving. Okay, next. Oh, I'm not supposed to look. Why I keep looking? All right, so boom. This next question, I got two more pieces of paper in here. What is it like being a businesswoman and a mom? Girl, I'm tired. I'm fucking tired. Um, but honestly, it's motivating for myself. You get what I'm saying? Anytime I'm sitting and I'm stressed and shit like that, um, sometimes I have to like remind myself, like, girl, look at what you're doing. Like, you feel me? It's a lot of people who don't have the the patience or the discipline or the consistency uh that you have so um it's definitely sometimes it can be like a little stressful I'm not gonna lie but most times it makes me feel good about myself because it's like damn bitch you're really doing the damn thing you feel me it's not easy especially because i homeschool as well um but you feel me i gotta do what i gotta do <laughs> this is my life uh these are the cards that I were I was dealt. So I'm just trying to play my hands 
the right way. You feel me? Yeah. Next question. I'm shaking it up like this and there's only two in there. Okay, y'all. So, Queen K. Hey, Kayla. Queen K on the gram asked me. Well, she ain't really asked. She made a statement. But that's going to go into a question. So, Queen K asked me, um, said, actually, sis got proposed to and didn't tell us because I'm seeing this ring and it's given fiance. So, the ring she's talking about is this ring, guys. Right now, it's on my right hand. When she said that in the video, it was on my left hand. Bitch, I am not nobody's fiance. I am not engaged. <laughs> um, this is costume jewelry, okay? I was going out one day. I said, I want to get a little razzle-dazzle. I went to the beauty supply store, and I got this for $15. Nobody's fiance. Which leads me into my next question that people are always asking me, which is, are you single? First of all, y'all nosy. <laughs> Y'all nosy. Second of all, if I say no, I'm not single, is it really going to matter to y'all? Because some of y'all still be trying. <laughs> nah, but on some real, um, I'm dating somebody right now. That's what's going on. So that answers that question. And the last question. What's your favorite thing about being a mom? That question is from Rocky the Widow. My favorite thing about being a mom right now, um, well, with the age that they're at right now, Jada is nine and Mariah is seven. My favorite thing about being a mom is breaking the barriers, not the barriers, breaking the generational curses, I guess you can say, like, I speak straight to my kids. You get what I'm saying? We are very honest. We have honest, open conversations. Um, some of these conversations that we have are like a little, it's cringy because they're so young, but because they're exposed to so much at such a young age these days, especially with technology, um, it's like you have no choice but to talk to your children and be honest with them. So I think my favorite thing about a mom being a mom right now really is just like, growing with them you get what i'm saying and learning things about them but learning things about myself at the same time as i'm learning things about them like it sounds crazy but um children are just like for me i feel like children open your eyes to so much um so i'm very much grateful for them but i do absolutely enjoy growing with them um and watching them grow you know um, it's a lot of things that I like about being a mom. I can't pinpoint it on, like, one particular thing. I enjoy being able to just, like, be silly with them and be kids with them, too. Like, being having kids, sometimes you get to be a kid yourself. So, yeah. Guys, <laughs> that is the end of the Q&A. I'll probably do another Q&A, like, sometime later in the year. But... I'm glad you guys tuned in. Make sure you look out for my next vlog. Again, if you have not subscribed to my channel, you need to subscribe right now. Like this video, share this video, comment on this video. Yeah. Make sure you're following me on the gram. Make sure you're following me on TikTok, on Twitter. Make sure you're following my business pages. Make sure you go to my website and subscribe to my website as well to be a part of my emailing list. I send daily motivational messages Monday through Friday to all my subscribers. Um, well, my subscribers from my site, and I also send exclusive class updates to my subscribers as well. So make sure y'all do that. I got classes coming up. Make sure y'all cop y'all she shorts. I just dropped the commercial. I'll put that right here so you can check it out after you watch this video. Until next time, guys. Later. I would rather both of us be honest Sometimes I gotta act like it's nothing I heard you for the streets and you running That's how you coming You gotta let me know